Guten Tag. Grüß Gott. Servus. However you like to say your greeting when you're in Germany. Hey, I'm Arnie and this is Arnie Jacobson TV and we love to travel. Although we haven't had much chance to do that in the last almost two years now. I've got a hankering to visit some castles and that's what we're going to do today. Hey, if you like this kind of content make sure that you click that big red subscribe button down below don't forget click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content and check the show notes for additional details so yes i have been hankering well i should say we have been hankering to uh, return to europe now for almost two years and one of our favorite places is germany i'm german and um so is my wife for a little bit. One of our favorite things to do is to visit various castles and palaces. And that's what we're going to look at today. Just kind of get a feel for some of the places that we'd like to see if we haven't uh, done, all, done so already. And some of the places that we have already been. And I'll be making some commentary along the way uh, about some of the places that we have already seen. Let's get going. And here we go. First up, Reichsburg Kochum. And this is in the little town of Kochum. And it looks ancient, but it really isn't. It was built back in the 1800s. Wartburg, look at that. One of the things you're going to notice when you look at most castles is that they are perched up high. Now, it's going to be a little bit different when we see some of the palaces. Schloss Neuschwanstein, again, this one was built back in the 1800s. So these are not ancient. And this isn't very far from Munich, so it's close if you're down that way. All of them on a nice rise. Gives a great commanding view of the area around them. Really magnificent Schweriner Schloss up in Schwerin. Beautiful out there in the middle of the lake. Can't see much uh, inside now because it's uh, administrative offices. Beautiful nonetheless. And more of a palace looking place. Really great. I love the way they light them up. Oh, Burg Elz. We've been here also. This is traditional. It, this, the same family has lived there since the 12th century. It is really, really uh, what you want to see in an old, old castle. Oh, overlooking the Rhine. A lot of castles along the Rhine worth seeing. We've never been to Berlin, so um, this is one we haven't seen yet. Also, most of them overlook rivers. I shouldn't say most, but very, very many of them overlook rivers because they were using them to control the trade. Don't you just love these aerial shots? You notice a lot of them have the uh, umbrellas there that uh, they're being used now for hotels, restaurants, and that kind of thing. So remarkable. And this one actually has a little bit of a moat. Most castles don't have have moats around them. <clears throat> I 
Although we have come across a number in our travels that actually do have um, that moat set up. Look at those. Oh, that's a palace. Beautiful. There's so many palace, so many castles to yet to see. Oh, we have got to get back. This is in Goslar, the town of Goslar, and this the the Schloss itself really wasn't that impressive, but the town is gorgeous, gorgeous. As I mentioned, many, many castles along the Rhine. Including Burg Pfalzgrafenstein, which is right out in the middle of the Rhine River. And they used to have a chain that would go across the river so that they could levy tolls for the ships that were going up and down the Rhine. Hey, I really hope that you've enjoyed our quick look at a number of different uh, castles and palaces uh, in Germany. If you like this kind of content, remember, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Have you been to any of these? Would you like to go? I know, as I've said, we're itching. Click that subscribe button, leave a comment, give us a like. Thanks so much for stopping by for our quick look at German castles and palaces. Thanks so much.